Sky News Centre, this is The Bolt Report. Now, Ben Fordham. Happy Monday. Welcome to The Bolt Report. I am Ben Fordham filling in for Andrew Bolt, who's taking a break. We've got a packed show for you tonight, including news that I broke on radio this afternoon that up to six asylum seeker boats could be headed our way from Sri Lanka. Mr Dutton said last week the arrival of that boat was disturbing and he warned it's not the only vessel that we're worried about. Well, a senior source in Home Affairs has told me this afternoon the reason Peter Dutton is in Sri Lanka right this very minute is because there could be up to six boats in play as we speak. Is there a chance that the people smugglers were able to sell seats on boats because they presumed, like many others, that Labor was going to win the election. Asking if the boats had stopped because of turnbacks and other efforts, why does Australia really need to keep detaining refugees in offshore detention facilities? Christina Keneally declared, we should bring the refugees to Australia. In 2019, the same Christina Keneally is now in charge of Labor's policy to protect our borders, stop the boats, and turn back people smuggling vessels. Three Chinese warships in Sydney Harbour. There they are. The arrival is being seen by some as a dramatic display of power by the Chinese Navy on the eve of the 30th anniversary of the Tiananmen Square massacre. Maybe that's why the federal government didn't promote the visit, even though the PM says he's known about it for weeks. The timing of this visit isn't great.